Hey everyone and welcome to Bite Size Tactics. In this video we're going to be looking at the Whirlwind, probably one of the best Space Marine vehicle units currently in the meta. So the Whirlwind doesn't have a very standout profile with a 10 inch movement, a toughness of 10, a 3 plus armor save with 11 wounds, a 6 plus leadership and an OC of 3, and currently costs 180 points. The Whirlwind has the Smoke keyword, which allows you to use the Pop Smoke stratagem, and it also has the Vehicle keyword, which may be important for stratagems and abilities throughout the game as well. It does have the Deadly Demise D3 ability, and it has its own inbuilt ability called Pinning Bombardment. So in your shooting phase, after this unit has shot with the Whirlwind Vengeance launcher, you can then choose an infantry unit that it's hit, and they have to take a Battle Shock test. So the Whirlwind is equipped with the Whirlwind Vengeance Launcher. This has a blast and indirect fire abilities. At D6 plus 3 shots, at strength 8, minus 2 AP and 2 damage, this weapon is great against all infantry units and even mounted. Its armored tracks are not a great combat weapon, however, with only 3 attacks at strength 6, no AP and damage 1. You can add the Hunter Killer Missile to the Whirlwind. This has only one shot the entire battle. And at strength 14, minus 3 AP and D6 damage. This is more for those high toughness units that are making their way towards the Whirlwind or threatening it with having line of sight to the Whirlwind. And this is just for a bit of bonus damage towards them. You can also add the Storm Bolter to the Whirlwind. And this has a Raptify 2 ability. And at strength 4, 0 AP and damage 1. Again, this weapon is just for some help against units that are coming too close towards the Whirlwind or just having firing lanes to the Whirlwind. The Whirlwind doesn't have a lot of damage output to those high toughness units that your opponent will have and it needs to be aware of the high AP and high damage weapons that normally accompany those units. The Whirlwind doesn't have a lot of wounds either and it only has a 3 plus armor save. So it's not the most durable vehicle unit that the Space Marines have. And you don't want this unit also to be locked in combat because you don't want to suffer any minus one to hit penalties. Another weakness are the units that can deep strike outside of three inches as they will then be able to get shots at the Whirlwind and possibly on the next turn even charge into it and then lock it into combat. Finally, the Whirlwind isn't a model that's going to be scoring you a lot of points either. So you need to be wary that it's more for some damage output towards those infantry and mounted units and getting rid of your opponent's mission playing pieces rather than actually scoring you secondary points or even primary. The Whirlwind is fantastic at being able to screen out your backfield, however, and it does keep your deployment zone very safe, especially against units that can come in from strategic reserve or deep strike. Its damage output against Infantry and mounted units are also quite good, and it has a great range for an indirect fire weapon at 72 inches, so you can basically shoot wherever you want to on the board. It will also be really hard to target, as it will most likely be in your backfield behind ruins, so it's going to be really hard for your opponent to be able to shoot back at the Whirlwind while dealing with its indirect fire ability from the Whirlwind and its massive range. And finally, the Whirlwind is great in pretty much any generic or even divergent Space Marine chapters, and it's a very independent unit. So you would bring this in to more harass your opponent rather than bringing it in to serve the mission and score you points. We've pretty much covered the mission play of the Whirlwind, but I will just reiterate it here. So the Whirlwind is used in the most basic of ways possible. You deploy it in your backfield as a unit to either hold that home objective or to just screen out your deployment zone in the corner or behind any kind of ruin that will stop your opponent having lots of firing lanes towards it. From there, the Whirlwind would just simply pick off those light infantry units that your opponent is using to score points and taking away those mission playing pieces that are doing actions. My final thoughts are that the Whirlwind is a very useful unit currently with the indirect fire weapon and it's really great currently in the meta because of that ability. And it can cause a lot of issues for your opponent, especially if they're running mainly infantry in their army. And again, I'll just reiterate that I believe it can be useful in pretty much any detachment as it will just act independently in the game. Thank you for watching the video. If you've been enjoying this content, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. 
and let me know in the comments section what you think of the whirlwind. Is it fun? Is it a bit annoying? Or is it just a staple in your Space Marine army? And again, thank you for watching.